Hi guys, this is Mera at Full Circle Audio. And I got a message from someone on Patreon asking how to get a certain dub techno sound. And um, we got discussing and he kind of thought it was made with a resonator. And I kind of thought it was made with a vocoder. And to be honest, I have no clue who was right. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and make a vocoder dub chord tutorial because I haven't done one yet and I wanted to see if I could come up with a similar sound. Um, so I'm going to start off with a drum break. And just for um, convenience I'm going to use the Amen break because mo most of you guys will be able to get a copy of that. Um, And I'm just going to drag that into the arrangement view here. Now it doesn't have to be a break beat. It can be like pretty much any sample you want, but I'm going to work with a break beat to show you this demonstration. So I'm going to um, uh, pitch it so it's in time with the project tempo. And I'm just going to consolidate that, control J, and then just slice a bit out of it. Um, basically, I want a snare drum and I want some shuffles. Those are the only two elements I want. So we've got a snare here. And we have the shuffles. Um, so let's just listen to that. Let's pull, pull, pull them together. That sounds kind of cool. So I'm just going to um, duplicate that across. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is grab a vocoder and put it on there. Let's have a listen to that. Oh, it's on the wrong track. Let me put it on the right track. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the sound of it with the vocoder. So the next thing I want to do is grab a synth. It could be any synth. I'm just going to use wavetable. And I'm going to make um, just a minor triad chord here. Let's take a listen to that. It's going to change it to a saw wave. So I want to make kind of like a dub chord sound out of this synth and I'm going to give it some filter modulation I'm going to give it the bandpass filter and and in the matrix here map LFO1 to the uh, filter frequency maybe turn re-trigger off Actually, I'm not even going to use the filter in a synth. I'm going to grab an auto filter. And just modulate that. I'm just 
just going to pitch the synth down an octave. And I'll turn up the LFO. And give it some phase. And give it some unison. And in the amp, um, make sure there's no amp envelope happening, so it's just like sustained. And that will do for now. I'm now going to mute that synth. And back on the aim and break track here, in the vocodia, I can set the carrier to be external and then take the audio from that wavetable. Now let's take a listen. So now we have a vocoder dub chord kind of sound. And we can then like mess about with the, some of the parameters in the vocoder. So the first thing I'm gonna do is mess about with the frequency range parameters. And you can change with the amount of bands there are. I'll cha change it to 12 bands and then mess about with the bands here. And then we, we can mess about with release. And a cool thing to modulate is the formant here. So I'm just going to duplicate this clip along. So we got um, four bars there. And I'm just going to press record and record in some automation. I'll have a play around with the gate here. So another cool thing you can do is with the aim and break here is like sh uh, shift it, like pitch shift it. Change the warp mode. And changing it to mono yields good results. So the next thing I'm going to do is put some spatial effects on here, just using a delay. And some reverb. And I'm going to put some compression on there.
So if we go back to the source track, the wavetable synth, we can mess about with the filter in there. So that's basically how you do it, and if I just drop some drums here over the top. thing you could experiment with is putting an auto filter you could set an envelope
uh, then we could put a side chain after the um, effects here. Set the input to come from our drums, um, just the kick. So yeah, now I'm kind of making a full sketch here, but I think you guys will get the idea. Um, so yeah, vocoder dub chords, it's, it's a super um, quick and easy way to create interesting dub chords. And you got, you just got to remember you got um, uh, the, the source synth, which you can modulate. Uh, the audio waveform can be manipulated, pitched up and down. Uh, the effects can all be automated and it's 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 kind of like um it's a really cool way to add a lot of modulation to your sounds um, you get loads of options you know more than you would if you, you were just using a subtractive synth for instance uh yeah so thanks for watching um yeah this ableton live set will be available to download via my patreon and um I'd like you to go check that out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.